Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at some of the more difficult words for English learners to pronounce. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said, today's lesson is looking at difficult English words to pronounce, and especially for you, learners of English, whether you come from a different language background and some of these words are easier or more difficult for you to pronounce, of course, depends on which language you speak and the sounds that you are able to make easily. So we'll have a look at some of the uh, difficult words that we need to be able to pronounce correctly in order to make ourselves understood by native speakers of English and also if you have an exam or a speaking exam that you need to uh, pronounce these particular words perfectly. Now we have 10 words. We'll start with some easy ones and we'll go down to some of the more difficult words. Now keep in mind that sometimes the pronunciation can vary between uh, standard British and standard American speech. Now I come from Australia so sometimes I use one and sometimes I use the other. But more or less, um, uh, these uh, words are fairly uh, similarly pronounced in uh, both uh, regions, okay? So the first one is fruit, fruit. And we can see here that we have the phonetic spelling, fruit. And also we can see that we have that double O sound, which is here in the phonetics with the U and the two little dots, we have the uh, longer vowel sound, let's say. So fruit. Now a lot of people have trouble this, with this word, especially people that come from a phonetic language background because they try to phoneticize every single uh, word and every letter. But in English, of course, we don't do this. So here, these two sounds are fruit, fruit, fruit. Okay, fruit. The next one is Q, Q. Now this is a difficult word to spell for even native speakers, but the pronunciation is fairly clear. Q, Q. So we can see here that we have the K and the, uh, the Q, the Q sound, which is represented with this J symbol here, and also the longer vowel sound as well. Q, and of course a Q, um, if you go to a supermarket and there's a lot of people waiting to pay, you're standing in a Q, okay? And here's a more simple uh, pronunciation or spelling of it here, Q. Now the next one here uh, looks fairly simple, but it's amazing how many people uh, pronounce this word incorrectly. The pronunciation is island, island, and we can see here that there's no S, so island. So remember that the S is silent. Island, 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 okay? Island. There's no S sound. It's not Iceland, it's not Island, it's island, island, okay? The next one here, also very commonly um, uh, uh, missed mispronounced uh, quite often, and the word is recipe, recipe. We can see it here, recipe, 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 recipe. And a recipe, of course, uh, if you like to cook, you'll know what a recipe is. It's the list of ingredients and directions that you need or instructions in order to cook that meal, the recipe, all right, recipe. Now, this word here is a little bit more complicated because there's two or three different ways to pronounce this word. I, for example, pronounce this word comfortable, comfortable, okay, comfortable. You can also pronounce this word in English comfortable, comfortable, but I pronounce it comfortable, 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 comfortable. And we can see here that we have a couple of sounds in brackets because they're very weak sounds. Listen again, comfortable comfortable, 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 okay, comfortable, or as I said before, you can also pronounce it comfortable, comfortable, 
comfortable, okay? Comfortable or comfortable. So two different ways that we can pronounce that word there. Now the next one is lettuce, lettuce, that green uh, leafy substance that you put into your sandwiches or your salads. Uh, lettuce, uh, it's not lettuce, it's lettuce, lettuce. We can see here again, lettuce, lettuce, with the stress at the beginning. If you see this symbol here, it means the stress is at the beginning of the word. So, lettuce, lettuce, I'd like some lettuce in my sandwich, please. Some lettuce. The next word is commonly uh, mispronounced by people because obviously they see two words here. They see green and witch, and they all automatically think that it is green witch, but it's not the case. This word is pronounced Greenwich, 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 Greenwich. Okay, this sound here is a ch sound, Greenwich, not green witch, Greenwich. I remember a few years ago, somebody told me that he went to the UK and he was asking about this place and he was trying to pronounce the word. Uh, obviously he was doing it incorrectly because nobody could understand what he was talking about. So this is for you, Greenwich, Greenwich. If you go to the UK and you want to go and visit Greenwich or if you are on Greenwich Mean Time, that is how we pronounce that word, Greenwich. The next one here, uh, commonly mistaken again, because again, we see these letters here. These letters here uh, take different pronunciations in English. Uh, when we have uh, this particular word here, the pronunciation is Edinburgh, 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 okay? Edinburgh, it's not Edinburgh, it's not Edinburgh, all right? It's Edinburgh. You go to Edinburgh on holidays. In Scotland, of course, Edinburgh. The next one is key, 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 all right, key, 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 all right, key, not quay, not quay. Now, obviously, you would look at that word and you'd say, well, Q, U, but no, the pronunciation is key, again, with these two little long vowel sound. Key. And the last one here, now this word here, we can pronounce this word two different ways. There's a, a, a British pronunciation, the way that I pronounce the word, which is thorough, thorough, okay? Thorough means that you go over something in detail, thorough or thoroughly. Thorough is the word, is the word thorough, and the Americans can pronounce the word like this. Thorough, thorough. Again, thorough. But I pronounce the word thorough, okay? Thorough. So there we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten words that are difficult for some learners to pronounce, and I hope this lesson has been beneficial for you. Now, thank you very much for watching the lesson. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below, in the comment section. Remember to share the video, please, on social media, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, Pinterest. Share it up on social media. I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a good day. Bye.